Welcome back. My name is Dave. This is Mikiro Sunny, my unscaled layout. And today we're going to talk about making custom decals. Uh, I just said decals, and uh, there's going to be about 100 people who go and say they're decals. They're decals. They're not decals. Well, I looked it up on the, the Merriam Webster uh, app on, online, and depending on what country you're in, <laughs> it's either. Uh, but according to that, that particular dictionary, in Canada, it's a decal, a decal, okay? So I am going to try as much as I can to make sure that I don't, <laughs> I don't mess up the two words. So we get started here right, right away. So there are a lot of, uh, items that you build on your layout that require decals. See, it's even hard for me to say that word. Um. And uh, you can't readily go out and buy them. Uh, Microscale makes a ton of a uh, ton of them, but uh, they're almost all for like rolling stock or things like that. Maybe maybe some for roadways, maybe some for warning caution stuff. But if if you're going to do stuff that's truly bespoke, truly custom, then you need to know how to make your own. And so I'm going to show you how I do it. Now, I use a piece of software called uh, Corel Graphics. Uh, it has Corel Draw in it, it has uh, and Corel Paint in it, it has two or three other uh, things. And it's a major, major uh, piece of software. Now, the only reason I use it is I've been using it for over 20 years. Uh, I was at one point in my life uh, a graphic artist and uh, was designing... Uh, commercials and book covers and stuff like that and I would use this software to to make them uh, but as uh, as I progressed in my my career different careers I moved on and but I still kept buying the updates and getting it and it's not an inexpensive program so I'm not going to recommend that you run out and get it if you have uh, Adobe Illustrator that this most of this will work in Adobe Illustrator I believe and there is a free drawing program called Inkscape. And it, ha it is a very powerful program. Uh, and uh, you, you probably would want to do a bunch of testing and uh, download it, test it, see if it meets your needs. But uh, it, if you're looking for a cheap way to do it, and God knows I'm a Scotsman, I'm always looking for a cheap way to do something. So we're going to do it in Corel because I, it, it's just buried in my mind of how, how to do this. So I'm going to switch over to my computer, which I've got my, my second laptop, which I have here on the table. And just give me a second, I'm just reaching forward here. There we go. I hope you can see that. So the first thing to do is to find the, the graphics that you need. Now, the best place I found online to find uh, graphics of all kinds is Pinterest. If you go to Pinterest and uh, type in the search uh, safety safety graphics, you'll get a whack of safety graphics. If you're looking for uh, uh, warning signs, type in warning signs, you'll get a, uh, a bunch of warning signs. And the other two graphics that I'm going to get, uh, show you are from a Google Google search for each of these these other graphics. And it's important uh, that you realize where you're going to put your, your decal. There are two kinds of, I'm going to switch back for a second, guys. Just sorry. Whoops, I didn't press it long enough. There are two kinds of, of uh, decal paper. Now, I have a laser printer. So actually, that would mean there are four kinds. There will be these two for laser and two for uh, inkjet. Uh, inkjet, because it's ink, you, you, there's a couple extra steps you've got to go through to get it done. And I'm not, really not familiar with it, so I'm not going to talk about it at all. But the two different types are white water slide decal paper. This is for a laser printer. I'll just hold that up so you can see it, and then we'll we'll put it back down here. 
And then the second one is also laser water slide decal paper, but it's a clear one. And I'm going to demonstrate why you need to know this because it, uh, laser printers and even inkjet printers don't print white. So if you need to have something in white on, uh, on a colored background, you need to use the white decal paper. If it doesn't matter, then you can go ahead and use the clear stuff. So what we're going to do, I've already printed them up, and uh, we're eventually going to get there. But the first thing is to show you how I go about doing this. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Import. And I'm going to bring in this one. And I can draw it out. And there it is. That's, that's the Dom's, Domtar uh, logo. And I'm going to go back here, File and import and I'm going to take the Petrocan and I'm going to use that for Petrocan there we go and I got I think I got what do I got two more yeah two more uh, import safety signs electrical so this would go on a, if you had a, a power uh, substation on your on your layout there's all the signs for that and then just to uh, round it out, here are, so I'm just going to, you know, I'll try and zoom in here and then I'll, go, I'll move it around for you. So obviously this one should be on clear. If, if, if the background it is, uh, is not overly colored in any kind of way. Uh, I, I, this is going to go on the, on the buildings at the, uh, at the paper mill, and they're a, they're a light gray, so this will stand out on a light gray, and there won't be any white around it at all. The Petrocan sign is also going on white, so it could go on a clear... Uh, clear background but if anything is colored and you you put the clear one on uh, this will disappear um, and I'll, I'll we're going to demonstrate that um, so and then this one it, it really doesn't it, if if you want to have the white that's on the all of these signs here I, I'll just zoom in there we go this white then it should be printed on the white white uh, paper and the yellow, the yellow warning stripes doesn't matter uh, if you put it on the white then you're going to have to trim it very close so I would suggest that you put it on the on the clear and that makes it things easier for you so now where, where do we go from here well what I normally do now where are those papers okay here they are so when I originally imported these switch to six it, this is difficult with this all sitting there let's bring it over over here let's go to six why aren't they okay I'll do it up here six for preview and switch so what I did was I put them on a piece of paper and I printed them out and I measured them, especially the two that are uh, uh, going to go on, on the power plant and, and down to it. So this one was 25 millimeters. Now, if I take a scale ruler, which I don't, where the heck are you? Oh, I know, it's over here where I usually put it away. If you put it, uh, take the scale ruler, that means that this is a 12 foot wide by seven feet tall graphic. And you have to decide whether that's too big or too small. And then you go ahead, you size it, and in, in uh, 
and corral, what I normally do is, let's just do this here, we'll go click down, okay, I'm going to grab a, grab a guideline from the side, there we go, we're going to gra grab a guideline from the top, and then we're going to click on the graphic, and it tells me that it's 72 millimeters uh, wide and 41 millimeters tall, and so then I take a caliper, let me turn this thing on, and I go 72 millimeters. Oh, sorry, it went inches. That's why not because I thought it was in one. Oh, one more. That feels right. Oh, I, um, that's that was bigger than than what I originally thought it was. So that means it's that big. So that's obviously way too big for the buildings at Domtar. So then what I did was I recorded what it was. On a, this one is only 25 millimeters. And I then scaled it down to a reasonable size. So and this one was 25. And what I did was I scaled it down and the Dom Tar so, uh, and the, the, pet, the Petrocan sign so that this one is only 18. That means that it is an eight foot, roughly an eight foot uh, uh, sized in, in, in scale. I did the same for Petro, the Petrocam one, grabbed it. It tells me that it's uh, 67 millimeters by 50 millimeters. And again, if I take this and go 67, 69, 68, 60, 60, 67, and I put it on on the ruler, it comes out to 35 feet, which is a big, big sign. So I scaled that down as well. And then I did the same for the danger sign and the same for the stripes, reducing them so they were more in scale, more in scale for the, the for an in scale layout. And uh, in on this one on the on the stripes, I measured measured the original uh, stripes, and then reduced them. And on and this one, I measured one of the the caution signs and reduced them to that size, so that this caution sign is only eight millimeters, which is five feet four four uh, five feet. Four foot six. So you can see that you have to play around with it, and do you you'll probably waste a bunch bunch of paper. Although it's not a waste because once you've got it all set up, it's it, it it's done. So, and then once you've got it uh, sized right, then you can go ahead and print it on the on 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 the decal paper. I think I said decal. It's amazing. So, what I did was. We'll just leave the, that camera there for now. I printed the, this out on, on decal paper. I'm going to talk about this, this mess in the corner here in a minute. And this is the clear. Now they look identical, except that anywhere there's white on here, there's nothing. There's no color. It's whatever the background color is. It just it doesn't it doesn't print the white. So you have to be cautious about what you're doing. Now, to talk quickly about this mess here. I learned, where did I put that stuff? Did I bring it over here? I thought I brought it over here. Did I bring it over here? Maybe not. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go without it. <coughs> I printed this one, the white one, immediately after printing the clear one. And obviously, some of the the ink from the clear one got on a drum or something and transferred to this one. 
So what I would suggest you do, I thought I brought the package of, there's, there, you can buy cleaning paper for your laser printer. And uh, it would be easier if, uh, if you had done, printed one, let it set for a bit, put the cleaning paper through twice, which is what they recommend, and then printed the next one so that this would not have happened. But because these are yellow and black and there is no white anywhere in them, I'm going to use them on the clear. I'm not going to use them on the white. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to cut out these, these uh, uh, the Petrican uh, decals and uh, and apply them to some So this is the Petrican white. Can you see? I might, yeah, you can see it. Okay. I just don't want my head in the way. Okay, so there's that one. Take the, the, we'll take the clear one. And they look exactly the same. You can, I'll, I'll just put them over here. They look exactly the same. They won't once I put it on the, once I put it on the plastic. And I'm going to cut out another one of this. For, so you can see what it looks like on white. So, now the other thing you'll need besides the buying the decal paper is to buy some microset and microsol. Oh, microset, 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 microsol. There we go. Have I got, I've only got two bottles of that? Okay. So what Microset does, and this is how you do it, you brush it onto the, on the model where the, the decal is to be applied, and then dip the decal in water and slide it off the backing of paper and onto the position of the model. So what we're going to do here is I have a sheet of colored styrene, courtesy of the recycling at Lowe's. I have this little tray and I think, okay, so what I, do, oh, can you can't, can you see that? I, okay, I'll, I'll move this over. There you go, there's the tray. So I'm going to put the, uh, decal in there and it needs some water now I found with this this protection uh, decal paper that you can tell when it's ready because it goes in and it curls up. And once it's ready, it sort of flattens itself out. And you're probably not going to do that because I just said that. So I'm going to get some Microsol. And paint it on this. Uh, Just like that. Okay, this is the white one. So I'm now going to slide it on here. And 
took a little rag and dabbed very gently. And then once once you've done that, you take the microset and you paint it on oops. Careful. You paint it on oops. Now you can see, can I zoom in? No, that's out, he's in. Okay, that's as in as it's gonna get, guys. You can see that because it's white, the logo is just like it printed on the computer. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna take the clear, stick it in here. Again, some Microsoft. Okay, now this is the clear one. Some microset out. And you could see <laughs> that you can't see it because I don't know if that's focusing or not, but, but, but you could see the you could see there are two decals there, or decals there, and uh, one is clearly visible and one is not. So now let's just take that clear one and put it on. some white styrene and the paper's gone flat so we're pretty sure it's loose Now, bingo. And we're going to do just a little more to do so we won't make it blow up too square. Not as square as I can get it. Okay, and then I'm just going to take some more Microsoft or Microset and just paint it on top. So that's why you need to know what color your decal is going to go on. Because as you can see from the other side, the clear one on the colored paper on the colored side is not visible. So if you had an oil tank that was painted blue, you wouldn't be able to put the petrocan sign on it and be able to see it. The downside of the white ones is you have to trim them as close as close can be to the actual image. Where with a clear one, I'll flip this back over, you don't have to because there's, I've got uh, some clear film out here, here, and there's a bit at the bottom and a bit at the top. And once that's dry, I'll, play, uh, I'll, I'll spray it with uh, um, a matte medium, and that'll seal it in, and it'll hide the, the, the re reflectivity of the, of the carrier film. So it, it, it's just a matter of remembering what and where the decal is going to go. The scaling, which I did in the... Um, Went wrong one. We got two mice here, and I keep forgetting which one's which. Uh, 
the scaling in uh, Corel Draw is just a matter of trial and error until you get it the size that you want. Uh, but as I say, the best place to go for, for images uh, is, uh, is Pinterest. If you want to put, say you want to put uh, uh, advertising on the side of a building, uh, you know, uh, like they used to paint right on the building. You could find something on Pinterest, I'm sure, some old, type in old advertising signs, and you would probably be able to find something that uh, would work. So you can see that it's just a matter of... And the other thing you'll want to do, which I didn't do here and I, I, I would have should have done, was to see this one. Well, let me see if I can get. Oh, that was it. There it is. I should have turned it this way. Click off it, click back on it, and moved it up here. So I would still have half a sheet that I could put through the laser printer with other decals on it. So you can see it's not that difficult to do. It's just time consuming. And I really recommend getting yourself some Microsoft and some micro, micro set. They're, they also make something called liquid decal film, which you, uh, uh, an artist brush onto an old decal. And then you can apply it, allow 15 minutes to dry, apply like a regular one. So if you've got an old little decal and it's not, not hanging together, that's actually a film that goes over top, seals it all together, and then you do, do, your, uh, do your printing. So I'm going to just switch back to one. Oh, I see. Now it's working. Okay. There, there we go. So you could say not, th not that difficult to do, but the real crucial thing is to remember that you need to pick the right type of decal paper to, uh, to enable you to print on stuff that you've already painted and you want white to show up. If you don't care about the white showing up, don't worry about it. But if you want it to show up, you've got, you've got to use the white uh, decal paper. So that's it for this week. Next week I don't know what we're up to. Um, we're getting pretty close to having all the buildings and, and, and things done in, in, on, in and on the paper mill. The roadway still needs to be done. There is, uh, I've got to paint, paint a bunch of uh, jersey barriers that will go uh, in different locations on, in, in there. And there will be another road, a new road to go in and in two uh, uh, railroad crossings so that vehicles can move around on the far side of the, the mill. So again, uh, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, subscribing is, is, is free. It helps the channel. Uh, ring that bell and uh, when you do subscribe and you'll get a notice when I, I put out the video. Usually it comes out on, a, on Thursday evening. And um, if you like, the, like what you see, please uh, Give me a thumbs up. It's important. Uh, tells me that I'm doing the right thing for people. So uh, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of your family. And uh, as always, again, remember it's your railway and you can build it any way you want. And I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye for now.